Tonight, Dayton's Christmas killer, Marvallis Keen, is eating his last meal. Corrections officials say he's dining on steak, shrimp, fried onions, and chocolate cake in a cell in Lucasville, not far from where he'll be Tuesday morning. Keen's three-day murder spree in 1992 left five people dead. Relatives of his victims say he's never showed any remorse for the killings. In 1993, then 20-year-old Marvallis Keene was being taken to prison after being convicted of murdering five people. Any remorse, Marvallis? Any remorse? Are you sorry? Are you scared to go to the big house now? Are you scared at all? You During the sentencing phase of his trial, Keene and his mother took the stand. I know he has to be punished. But I ask you, I beg of you, don't take his life. I've never meant for nothing like this to ever happen. At the time, family members of the victims weren't swayed by Keene's emotional display. Even 16 years later, during Keene's clemency hearing in June, Rhonda Gallette told the parole board about a letter she wrote to Keene in prison. I wanted to know why. Why would you hurt my sister? Why would you hurt the other people when you already lost someone? My letter was returned back to me unopened. On Christmas Day, Keen robbed and shot to death 31-year-old Sarah Abraham, a clerk at a convenience store. The next day, Keen killed friends, 16-year-old Wendy Cottrell and 18-year-old Marvin Washington, because he was worried they knew too much about the other murders. No doubt Tuesday morning will be tough for all the victims' families, who even at the time Keen was sentenced to die weren't sure what they were feeling. I thought it would make me happy. But uh, there's something missing, and that's my child. It doesn't bring her back. It's not over. I don't think it'll ever be over. But uh, we'll make it. We'll make it. Keen is set to die by lethal injection at 10 o'clock tomorrow morning. We'll have a crew in Lucasville. Watch for updates on air and online, WDTN.com.